Let's have a look at superdense coding. This quantum protocol allows us to send two bits of classical information with only one qubit. To do this, we need entanglement. We'll say that the person sending the qubit is Alice and the person receiving this qubit is Bob. To start off with, Alice and Bob maximally entangle two qubits, so they are in this state. Alice takes one and Bob takes the other. We will say that Alice takes the left qubit and Bob takes the right qubit. Then Alice and Bob take those qubits with them. Now, when Alice wants to send two bits of classical information to Bob, depending on which two bits of information Alice wants to send, she performs some operations on her qubit. If Alice wants to send the two classical bits, 0, 0, she does nothing and sends her qubit to Bob. If Alice wants to send 0, 1, she applies an X gate to her qubit, transforming the qubits to this state. Then she sends her qubit to Bob. If Alice wants to send 1, 0, she applies a Z gate to her qubit, transforming the qubits to this state. Then she sends it to Bob. Lastly, if she wants to send 1, 1, she applies both an X and Z gate to her qubit, giving us this state. She then sends her qubit to Bob. Now Bob has both the qubits in one of these four states. He now applies a C knot with the first qubit as the control and the second as the target, giving us these states. Then he applies a Hadamard gate to the left qubit. This gives us this state that Alice wanted to send. All Bob now has to do is measure the qubits and he will get the two bits Alice intended to send. As you can see, with quantum computers, we can send two bits of classical information by sending one qubit. This works since there are two entangled qubits in the entire system.